Captain Marvel. We are reviewing another film that's ended up in controversy. Now the last time we did this, it was with The Last Jedi, and that was back in December of 2017. Sorry, was it? Yeah, it was 2017. Anyway, today we are reviewing Captain Marvel, and no matter what you think of the film, what you think of Brie Larson, I'm still reviewing this as a Marvel movie. So, I guess that's your warning, because I won't be too, you know, like everyone else about it. Here's the intro. Not really going to ramble on to the story that much, but this film is basically supposed to introduce Captain Marvel. Um, and also, not just that, but where she comes from, who she is, what type of powers she has. A bit of like a demonstration into like when Avengers 4 comes around and if we ever get to see Captain Marvel versus Thanos, that would be quite an interesting fight. Not just that, but we got to see how many things got started, like for instance how Phil Coulson got started, to how the Avengers initiative got their name and much more stuff. Now the Tesseract also makes an appearance and also that little uh, thing that Nick Fury has um, at the end of the Infinity War after the credit scene he uses to contact Captain Marvel so we get to see that for the first time we do. And overall I do feel like the movie is quite good and yes there are at least two after credit scenes. One of them has to do with Avengers 4, the other is just, I, I guess just there to make us laugh, but what do I actually think of the film? Overall the film as many people would like to believe, many people do say it's boring and it's really not needed to be there. Like. We didn't really ask for a Captain Marvel movie. Well, really, to me, I was not bored at all whilst watching this. Honestly, I quite enjoyed the film I did. And mainly, I only really watched this to see if there was any hints to Avengers 4, and then to see if there was an after credits scene that has to do with Avengers 4, and I'm quite satisfied with it. Overall, I feel like the film is a fun experience, and unlike the trailers, Brie Lanson's acting is actually good, so take it from my word. Or not, <laughs> it, it's your life. Anyway, the film gets a 9 out of 10. In any way, it wasn't really bad at all, it was just really good and just entertaining as Marvel should be. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.